Hi everyone. Let's do some application based questions from Ashraf's invention. These will require higher order skills. So apart from application, comprehension, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. So how good are you at these skills? Memory is a very easy thing. You just have to learn things by heart and reproduce your knowledge. But can you apply that knowledge? Let's see. Rearrange the order of events given below. Let's go through this carefully and see if you can rearrange it according to the way it happens in the story. All right. He promised that he had actually found the formula this time. As soon as he heard the bell, he headed out to the yard. He asked his friends if they wanted to come and fly on his plane. Ashraf's eyes were fixed on the clock. His friends laughed at him and reminded him of the things he had done in the past. So, which sentence comes first, second, third, fourth, and so on? If you know the story, you will be able to rearrange these sentences. Done? Let's check your answer. Here's the answer. Ashraf's eyes were fixed on the clock. As soon as he heard the bell, he headed out to the yard. He asked his friends if they wanted to come and fly on his plane. His friends laughed at him and reminded him of the things he had done in the past. He promised that he had actually found the formula this time. Getting the gist of it? Let's continue. Here's the second one for you. What do you think might have happened if Ashraf had actually invented a plane? Now, these kind of questions can be answered in so many different ways. So I am showing you the answer I have for you, but that doesn't mean that this is the only right answer. You are free to let your thoughts flow and write your own answer in any way you please. Here's my answer. The boys would have been very excited and would have fought for turns to sit in it. There would not have been enough chocolate cake for everyone. They would have had some more fights. Now, this is my answer, but not necessarily the only correct answer. All right. So go ahead and use your thoughts and imagination and write your answer in your own way. The third one. How would you make an aeroplane? List the steps. I know a lot of children love to make paper aeroplanes, right? You take a sheet of paper and you fold it into a nice little aeroplane, make a pointed tip and let it fly. I've done that myself. But do you think you can use some unique ideas? Let your thoughts flow again and write your own answer. Here's mine. Take some thin plywood. Cut the body shape. Cut the wings, stick the wings to the body with fevicol, paint the plane black, write the name Deep Devil on the sides with white paint, varnish it for an extra shine. All right, let's see the next one. When the children saw that Ashraf was on a tree, they walked off disappointed. What could have happened next if they had not walked off? So these are the kind of questions that you get when you have to apply your knowledge, not just learn something by heart, but use the knowledge you have and use your thoughts to put that knowledge together and synthesize it and evaluate it and then put it down. All right? So here's my answer. They might have joined him on the tree and pretended that they were on a real plane. I don't know. That's what I think. You might think something totally different. So that's absolutely fine.
what would have happened if Eugene and Sagan had not told everyone about Ashraf's invention? The story would have taken a different turn, right? My answer is Ashraf would not have been disappointed in them. Things would have worked out as he had planned. His best friends would have come over after school and joined him on the tree. Again, your answer might be completely different from mine. Sixth one. Why do you think Eugene and Sagan told the other boys about Ashraf's invention? Eugene and Sagan were pulling his leg. They were having some fun at his cost because they knew that Ashraf probably did not have any plane in his backyard. He was probably making it up like he did with his other inventions. That's what I think. You might think something completely different. Do you think it was right for Eugene and Sigan to tell the others about Ashraf's invention? Give reasons. So just yes or no will not do. Tell us why you think the way you do. Here's what I think. They should have respected his wishes to keep things between them. So I don't think they did the right thing. Or I could also say, yes, I think they did the right thing because Ashraf was always pretending to create things. They were tired of his make-believe inventions and wanted to teach him a lesson. What do you think? Did something like that ever happen to you? Did your friends do the opposite of what you asked? Explain what happened. How did that make you feel? Feelings are very important too. If you can actually put yourself into the story and feel the way the characters are feeling, then you would have really enjoyed the actual story by feeling it and living it and that is literature. So what do you think? Here's my answer. I told my friends that I was carrying chocolates in my bag to school to keep them away from my little sister. It was a secret. I promised to share them with my friends during our break and asked them not to tell anyone about it. But they told others and my classmates waited for me to leave the class and quietly took all the chocolates and ate them up. I had nothing left. How did I feel? I felt sad and miserable. I also felt like my best friends had cheated on me when I had placed all my trust in them. I forgave them, but the sad feeling did not go away for a long time. Now, it doesn't mean that this actually happened to me. It did not. I made it up. So you go ahead and make something up. All right? If you can think the way the characters are thinking in the story, if you can feel the way the characters are feeling in the story, it will not be hard for you to imagine something. All right? Why do you think it is important to keep secrets? Do you keep secrets? Or do you not keep them? Why? Well, I think it's important to keep secrets. If someone tells you a secret, he wants you to keep it. If you betray his trust by telling others about it, you hurt that person and can never gain his trust again. He may say that he forgives you just to make you happy, but I don't think that person can ever truly forgive you. Would you change Ashraf's invention in any way? Explain. Would you? You know what his invention was all about. Would you change it? Would you make it more interesting? Again, you've got to put yourself in the story and imagine, use your imagination. What would you do? Here's what I would do. I would have put up some curtains and added a nice name to my imaginary plane. You can add anything you want. Maybe you could have played some music there. Uh, what else? So many possibilities. Ashraf's friends suggested that they could try simple inventions in the future. What did they mention? Now, this is pure knowledge. It's mentioned in the story. Add some of your own ideas and now you build up on the knowledge you have. So what's your answer? Here's the answer. 
They talked about boiling an egg with the heat of the sun. I hope you remember that. Was the end of the story. And what are your ideas about simple inventions that children could do? I would suggest making some exciting games for the children at school, something to keep them occupied during their free time. Suggest a different end to the story. What if you were the writer? That was your story. And someone who read it, your editor maybe, said that they were not happy with the way the story ended. That happens almost all the time, you know, to a writer. The writer gets told, no, we don't like this about your story. We don't like that about your story. Change it. So suppose someone had told you that they did not like the end of the story. How would you change it? What could have happened in the end? You know what actually happened in the story. But what I'm asking is, forget about what actually happened and suggest something different. Here's what I suggest. Ashraf was angry with his friends for telling everyone about his invention. He got off the tree and walked into his house, shouting that he never wanted to talk to them again. They followed him to his house, but he did not speak to them. He went into his bedroom and shut the door. His friends waited for half an hour, but Ashraf did not open the door. Finally, they left. Sad end to the story. But then I have another end for you, which might be more interesting. Look at this. Ashraf knew that his friends would betray him and tell everyone about his new invention. So he pretended that the tree was his invention. He waited for everyone to leave and then quietly got down the tree and took Eugene and Segan to a secret place in his backyard where he had kept his real invention. It was a beautiful plane made of some spare pieces of plastic he had found around the house. His father had helped him to put it together. His friends had a marvellous time in that awesome plane. They were surprised that Ashraf had actually invented something this time, even though his father had helped him a great deal. They never made fun of him again. How do you like this end for a change? I mean, I had to add that part about his father helping him because that makes it a bit more real. Don't you think? So go ahead and have fun with your stories just like this. And I will come up with some more application-based questions in future with other stories that we are doing. Until then, bye.